Sunday things, go to work, go to church, we'll be with family, but then we all end up in the same place. For the record, we got the plug. That uh, is a black man's uh, dream. <laughs> License, insurance, and registration, man. Your life got to be going all good to get all three of those to culminate. You have arrived. You have arrived. As I started going more, is when I started discovering that there was a lot more depth to it. And that's what it really, really started opening my eyes to really to make that what I was going to document. When I started to see the, the peace and the hope that I was seeing out there with different groups of people coming together every week and putting all their differences aside. Don't run, stand there. Wait, you don't know where you're going next. So if you run, that's your fault. What I like about all those spots is that it is a live intersection in Los Angeles. And I think that's when the electricity really gets cranked to a level that becomes almost unbelievable. It's changed, man. It's changed because we, when I first started going out, it wasn't the Oakland vibe that you see now. It wasn't huge on a Sunday. They were real big on Saturday nights, but the Sunday day time shit, it wasn't real big. It was just a few guys and a few donuts, and, um, and the crowd just grew exponentially every week. Damn, that motherfucker almost took out all my legs. I don't really think about it as danger when the cars are spinning right in front of me, or I trust those guys. I'm not gonna get in the middle and shoot if I don't trust the driver. I'll look at the see who's driving before I'll get in the middle. Of Obvious, like byproduct of that, the police have just clamped down to a point where it's, it's, they win, they win a lot now. Um, I think the police win a lot of those Sunday battles where you go home and you're like, damn, all right, we get the point. I don't want to get my car impounded. So I think uh, having everybody take a break couldn't hurt. I don't know if it'll happen. You don't need nothing else. For my grandmother that can't understand why my fucking license is suspended and she got all this crazy shit going on with my life, I can bring her some of these photos and see us hugging together, blacks, Mexicans, Asians, whites, and she'll just understand. You see love out there. That's the biggest principle that's out there, It's love. There's a whole lot of other things we could be doing with our time. I, I hang out with gang members, man. Some of these people then shot people and robbed people, they murdered, and guess what? They found a hobby of cars, and now they don't want to shoot and rob. They just want to hang out. They just want to hang out and have fun with their friends and their families. Doing this 
if, there, if anything ever comes out of the camera for me, that would be amazing. But really, I'm, I'm out there because I really have fun doing it. And I'm out there because I really enjoy capturing that. And I feel like when I found that part of the L.A. car scene, like there wasn't anybody really documenting it the way I thought it should be documented. And I'm lucky enough to be the one that they trust to take the photos. And that's something that I work towards. And, and I don't take it lightly, man. I don't take it for granted. <laughs> These guys are putting a lot on the line for a few donuts, you know, in the streets of in the, in the streets of Los Angeles. They're putting a lot on the line. They're putting their cars and their freedom and a whole lot of headaches in the future for to entertain that crowd. So I hope that that's where that that kind of two-way street comes around. I get the chance to take this amazing photograph and give that to give it to them, and then they'll get the chance to kind of always have that. Because it's not something that's going to last long, man. These guys can't do this for too long. It's just not possible to, to uh, hold up that kind of behavior out there for too many <laughs> too long, you know what I mean? I think everybody knows that. It's kind of this celebration almost of this, like, you're out there almost celebrating this idea that, like, fuck it. 